clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, we are unboxing the Glitz Glam box for April 2020. I will leave my Glitz Glam playlist link to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. Glitz Glam box is $15 a month and I think you pay a couple dollars for shipping and you can also customize your box every single month. They also have options where you can double or triple the glam. That way you can get all of the palettes or lip products, whatever the customization may be. I forgot this month to double or triple the glam because they were eyeshadow palettes and I wanted to get them for giveaways. My bad, but I was really excited because I finally got a customization email. That was the first time. Normally having a message on Instagram to get my customization. Let's see what we got. Ah. Oh, I am loving this mint color. Mint is my favorite. And it's all nice and packaged like this. And this is what the inside looks like. So we have this eyeshadow palette. This is by Aqualine. You get eight shades that has mattes and shimmers. I'm loving this packaging. I have the Lime Crime palettes that are very similar to this. So I'm gonna set this aside for a giveaway. Do I know where my Lime Crime palettes are? It retails for $16.99 and that's pretty much the amount that you pay for this box and looks like everything else would be considered free. I haven't heard of Auckland before. I'll throw a picture of the Lime Crime one up on the screen, but it just looks very similar, very dupable. So I just feel like I don't need two of those palettes. It doesn't take anything away from Auckland. I'd rather just have one of you guys be able to test it out. You only get two shimmers and like the rest are mattes. The shade Mew looks very pretty right there. Ooh, we have a Glitz Glam Box Diamond Line Eyeliner. This retails for $12. Looks like I got the shade Fancy. Oh, wow. That is so cool. It's hard to pick up on the camera. That is really stunning. This could be fun coloring in the inner corners instead of using a pop from an eyeshadow palette. Oh, I'm liking that. That is really cool and pretty. Very unique. I know that's something I am not usually gravitated towards. It was really creamy too, I like that. Gotta change it up a little bit every now and then. We got these J Lash 3D Faux Mink Lashes and they retail for $9.99. These are super dramatic. <laughs> when it says extra volume lashes, it is not messing around. I think the word I'm looking for, they look nice and fluttered, like they don't look super chunky, not as wispy. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. They just look in chunks. Let me see if I have an example to compare of what I'm trying to say. See like these just look super chunky and then these look a lot wispier. So I feel like I'm gonna like something like this a little bit more. Plus I have really pathetic lashes. I don't really have much to work with. So these are definitely gonna look super dramatic on me. They say that they're lightweight and comfortable. I really like that in my lashes. There's only been like one brand that were super heavy. Can't remember what it was. I decluttered them. They were just uncomfortable. And that's something I never would have thought about with lashes. When I put on false lashes, I don't really like feeling them. I wanna pretend that they're not there. Otherwise, I'm gonna be there fidgeting and I'm really excited to give these a shot. And the last item, we have a Glitz Glam glitter. This glitter is a cosmetic grade that is safe for your eyes, lips, and your nails. I have received a red one in the past. I like this packaging. I'm just gonna set it aside. I'm not the biggest fan of glitter, but I have come to realize it's probably because I don't have glitter glue. So that's something I do want to get in the future to try all the glitters that I have accumulated throughout the years. I need to work on being my own nail tech and maybe exploring some glitter options. That could be a thing. I haven't really applied glitter on my lips before. So, you know, during this quarantine, we're gonna get creative. Overall, I thought the Glitz Glam was pretty good. I really liked the different palette variations that were options, and it's a great option to be able to dupe out the Lime Crime ones, because the Lime Crime ones are a little bit more expensive. This was very focused on the eyes, and I think I would have liked to see maybe a lip or a face product, but I am happy with what I got. I hope that the eyeliner works out in the inner corners. I don't know how it's gonna look on the lower lash. It's very funny that lashes have become some of my favorite products that I get in subscription boxes. I think that's gonna be my favorite product. I'm really excited to test that out. I would love to know if you guys get Glitz Glam Box and what palette did you customize with and did you get a different style of lashes, different color glitter or different color eyeliner and did you double or triple the glam and are you guys looking forward to May's Glitz Glam Box? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways and I'll see you in the next video.